you know, it's actually been maybe as we get settled in here, waiting for folks to come on. Um, you know, there was a very interesting challenge this morning uh, with some of the getting the event started, and actually, it felt like it was relevant for some of you know thinking about you know connectivity came up in that conversation, right? And this morning, uh, you know what? Actually, let's take behind the scenes preview of the uh, <laughs> the headquarters here for Week of Diversity, our little organizing team that's been a big part, not our only members of the team, yeah. but we've been here running the event, had some power outages and lost internet this morning, all at the same time, uh, which made for a little bit of an exciting start to the day, but also thinking about like access to connectivity and the kind of opportunities that people, um, all the barriers that are there to actually have access to these kinds of spaces, you know, like you lose power, you lose internet and you're like, you just have to do the best you can. And uh, I don't know, that was definitely kind of a humbling experience because I know many folks come from places that don't always have reliable connectivity. And that's just, again, like one of the kind of barriers that people face in trying to get involved in open source projects and communities. So despite all of that, we had some really great folks who jumped in last minute to help coordinate and run things smoothly. So thank you for the folks who helped during that little connectivity uh, outage that happened there. But I'm going to go ahead and bring Yona up on the webcam, even though we're in the same room. Uh, but I'll go ahead and bring her on up here and we'll close out the day with the closing remarks. So I'll go ahead and share my screen here and we will get started. Uh, here we go. All right. Are you all visible here? I think so. All right. So, uh, Yona, you want to take this one? Yes. Yeah, so basically, we wanted to say really a very big thank you to our speakers uh, because the, we know how important it is like to have great speakers, great content in order to have a great event. So we really appreciate um, all the talks, the panel discussion that we had. Uh, I think, I hope as well, uh, same as we were discussing a bit with Justin and people here, that everyone can bring something after this event. So really great um, thank you, kudos to all of you for making this event so special. Uh, and the organizing team. Um, I want, I will also maybe mention a bit uh, also what they have been working on because it has been like, I think a really um, great team uh, working on this year for Federal Week of Diversity. Um, a lot of things on the background happening, but despite like uh, everything, I think we, we, we made it. Uh, so a very big uh, thank you to Chris for all the interviews that um, Chris has been working on, uh, which we will mention also later where you can find them, uh, for the video that also he prepared and we showed today uh, during the event, um, and for all the, the promo uh, going uh, behind the scenes. Uh, then big thank you to Emma for all this amazing design that you can see around, um, helping for uh, all the Federal Week of Diversity uh, images. Um, and I really suggest you to check out also the Instagram stories, uh, the templates that Emma has prepared for that as well. Uh, it's like really nice, so big thank you. Um, to Rosaline for all the like promotion happening, uh, for helping with our articles to put out and everything. Um, big thank you to also Tosin again for the promotion, for the event production, for the survey, which we will also mention that uh, because it's really important to know how you think that our week of diversity went, uh, what we did well, and so on. So thanks, Tosin. Adrian, big thank you for all the automation thing happening uh, for the production for this event, uh, the pools and everything. Uh, then Amita for uh, taking care of uh, all the speakers, the panel discussion. Um, thanks a lot, Joseph, as well, for all the promotion uh, for the event and for putting all the content we have on our socials, especially Mastodon. He's been doing a very great job with that. Uh, Nikita for helping, uh, especially with the room icons you can see on Matrix um, and for doing it also very quickly. So thank you. Uh, Consolation as well for helping us with the promotion and some design things as well. 
uh, and Justin that I have here as well for being uh, my buddy for the event. And if something didn't go well, I would always go and reach out to Justin. So thanks a lot. Uh, it's been a really great teamwork and I wanted to really emphasize all of them because I think without um, all the work that you all have done, uh, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you. And I'd like to interject here and also really give a huge thank you to Yona, who has been a huge driver of this event. She has been behind the scenes on everything, working with all these volunteers, helping keep things on track, checking in with all of our different subgroups and people. And there is no way it would have been possible without Yona to help keep us all organized, organizing our meetings, keeping some of the, all, all the, all the secret behind the scenes stuff. So it just needs I, to buy us. So. Uh, no. It would not have happened without Yona, so I want to give a very big thanks to Yona as well for being a driver of this. You're welcome. So before we wrap up, just a quick look. Uh, you know, we talked about some of the interviews that happened on the, you know, during the week with some of our contributors. I'm just sharing a few excerpts here from folks like Nikita and Roland. Uh, all these were some of the Instagram stories that Emma also helped uh, compile and put together for our Instagram. So you can also find these stories in a number of places. We have them on the Fedora community blog. We have them on Instagram. Uh, there's a couple of other places where you can find these stories as well from our contributors. And not only that, but there are several more of these interviews and stories that you can find as well from a number of people from the community. So if you want to see them all and hear some really amazing stories about what is it, what does it mean to people to be involved with this project? And what is it like a day in the life of people who from, again, all different backgrounds and professions and age groups and uh, geographies, you know, people from all over the place. I, I really love these interviews. And to me, it's a big reminder of why, why we do what we do. Uh, so make sure if you haven't already catch some of those interviews on the community blog, you can find them all here using the QR code or the link. One more time, because you can never have enough uh, badges involved. So I will put that link into the chat as well. So folks can grab it if they have not already. Uh, but if you have not grabbed your Fedora badge already, make sure you grab it today uh, and get this limited edition design from our 2024 week of diversity. Uh, also important here is that we are doing a survey, which again, uh, kudos to some of our interns to help organize and drive some of the work behind the scenes here. But we really want to hear from you about how you thought the event went today. You know, maybe without the power outage uh, <laughs> challenges that we had at the beginning of the event. But if there were other things that you thought worked well or you feel like could be better for next time, we really want to hear from you about how that could be better. So I'll put the link also for that survey in the chat. But uh, we'd really appreciate it if you take a little bit of time and give us some of your feedback and thoughts about how we can make this event even better for next year. Uh, also a shout out that did come up in the previous panel, but happening right now, the Fedora quality team is running an accessibility test week. So specifically, you know, we have a lot of these test days or test weeks in Fedora where we invite people to actually get involved, try out certain components and share their feedback with us about what's working and what's not. So, you know, it did come up about the screen reader, a uh, little snaggle that we've had in Fedora 40. But there's a couple of other things that we're looking at for accessibility and improving the state of accessibility in Fedora Linux. So if you're interested to know more about that, or if you'd like to get involved and help test some of these things like screen readers and uh, other accessibility tech in the distribution, we'd love to have you get involved. Uh, it is going on now until the 20, June 25th, which if I'm not mistaken is Wednesday, next Wednesday, I think. So there's still, still some time to get involved and jump into the accessibility test week. Also thinking about kind of what's next and around the corner for Fedora, uh, very soon now we're gonna have our annual contributor conference, Flock to Fedora. Uh, that is going to be in Rochester, New York from the 7th to the 10th of August. We hope that we'll get to see many of you there. If you can't join in person, we are planning to live stream the whole event. Uh, so you will be able to catch uh, other content and things happening in our it happening at Flock online as well. So we hope that whether you're joining us in person or you're going to join us from afar, we're really excited and hope you can be a part of Flock in just a hardly, almost like a month and maybe a week. So it's just around the corner. 
Related to Flock, we also are doing a mentor summit at Flock, which we we did the first time virtually two years ago. And last year we moved for the first time as an in-person component of Flock. We're bringing it back this year on the last day of Flock uh, as our closing day at Flock. So there's still room here, whether you'll be there in person or not, if this is something that's interesting to you and you really care about the topic of mentoring and you wanna get a little bit of that involved with the event organization side of things, we would love to have you get involved and check it out. This link will take you to a GitLab issue where we are currently planning the Fedora Mentor Summit. And if you're interested, just drop us a note on that GitLab ticket and we will uh, follow up with you and try to find the best way to help you get involved and contribute to the Mentor Summit. Some closing things, I don't, you, know, you wanna talk about the, the video and the session recordings a little bit? Yeah, so basically we uh, put it one more time, but we can put it also on the chat, uh, the video that we showed during the break that we were supposed to put it <laughs> when it was the opening, but the video that uh, Chris has done. So check it out. Uh, and if you recognize any of the languages there, um, just send us a message or you can write us on our matrix uh, channel. And we will publish after the event uh, the session recordings. Um, I know that Adrian will be working on that and usually he's very fast. So I'm sure we will have it uh, online very soon. So just check out Fedora's uh, YouTube account and uh, you will have it there. And just mm -hmm. watching the questions in the chat, is the flock schedule coming out soon? Yes, it is coming out very soon. We hope to have that published along with registration towards the end of June. So definitely keep an eye out for the full schedule. Uh, it's pretty much done, but we just have a tiny couple things left to iron out before we go live officially. So keep an eye out, more to come soon on the flock schedule as well. Uh, so up next from here, uh, we'll have a little bit of a short pause, but then we will transition over to a code names social activity. So if you've never played code names, this is a, you know, just we're gonna have some fun together, uh, do some community, old fashioned community bonding. Uh, we've got some co code names is a game. It's a, it's a social word game with a simple premise and challenging gameplay. It'll be cooperative. You'll have two teams. So we'll have to go uh, head to head in a word guessing game. Uh, we will be on audio video for this. So we'll have an open room on big blue button for playing the session. If you're interested in hanging out with us and playing a round of code names, uh, we will get started in just a little bit. I believe we've got 30 minutes. Is that how long we've? Yeah, yeah. we'll do a little 30 minute, uh, 30 minute round after this. So with that, uh, I think that takes us to the end. Thank you all for an amazing event. Uh, again, this is definitely one of my most exciting kind of virtual events that we do because it's all about our people and the you know, the, the human factor behind our project, which, you know, in a distro community, it's super easy to get very deep down into the technical details. And I mean, that's kind of what we do. We build an operating system and we integrate all these different pieces, but at the same time that we do all this really crazy, amazing, uh, complicated, but really impactful work, we're also this really large global community of friends and people who really enjoy doing what we do with each other. I think that's a big part of what makes our community so special. And it's why I love events like this, because it helps gives us those very important reminders about uh, who we're going down this journey with together. So uh, one last time, I would like to uh, close out the event and uh, say uh, thank you all for, for being with us today for a week of diversity. It's been a lot of fun. And we hope to uh, see you all again soon in all of our normal virtual spaces. Or if this is your first time jumping into the Fedora world, we hope that you'll uh, be involved and become one of our, become also get involved with our community and join us. I think with that, folks, we are officially wrapping up for today. We will have probably like a five or 10 minute pause before we get into the social. Um, we'll make it really quick, but keep an eye out for that. We'll, we'll coordinate in the Matrix event chat. But otherwise, if you uh, aren't going to hang out for the social, Thank you once again for being here. Uh, thank you again to all of our speakers, our volunteers for making this event possible. And we can't wait to uh, see you around in the Fedoraverse. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye.